Welcome back, everyone! This is Jaronitis, bringing you Feed the Beast... No. Bringing you Honeymoon... No. Bringing you... Orcs Must Die. And that is what we are playing. It's a new series I'm starting up. This is a game from Robot Entertainment, as you can see at the top of the screen there. Um, we... Uh, I played this years ago. This game came out in 2011. Uh, you can buy it on Steam along with its sequel, and uh, its sequel will probably be something that I get to at some point, just because it was so much fun. Um, the Pandemicraft server crashed, and I got really upset and wanted to do something fun, so I went to play this. I played the first couple levels of it, and I said, you know, this is so much fun, I'm going to make another series and play Orcs Must Die, because I really enjoy it. Okay, so the basic general idea is a kind of like a tower defense game. Um, you, it's more a path defense because the orcs travel along a path and you kill them with traps and by killing them yourself. So it's going to be very interesting to see how this goes. We are starting out with a zero career kills. We are starting from a fresh playthrough. And here we go. We start out with the hallway. There are three difficulty settings. Apprentice, which makes it so you can it's going to be easier, but you can only get two skulls as a reward. And then War Mage is the medium difficulty and then there's nightmare mode but you have to defeat all of war mage first so yeah we're gonna go ahead and get started go all right basic stuff here controls wazda moves around uh shift is to sprint sell a trap or ballista is e uh space is jump select a weapon or spells place a trap and there we go I've spent 300 years fighting for the Order. I've killed thousands of orcs. And defended dozens of rifts. And this is how it ends. One slip and a kobold's blood. And my skull cracks open on the gatehouse steps. So now the task of defending this fortress falls to my... Apprentice. That's it, then. The world is doomed. It's all up to me now. Rest well, crazy old man. First things oh. first. Why do I, I have... You left me in this spell book. I have stuff. Why do I have stuff? Vampire Gauntlet, Alchemist Satchel... Oh, because I have the downloadable content. The downloadable content adds stuff. Uh, normally you start with just these other things. Uh, shock Zapper, that's a new one. Floor Scorcher, the Floor Scorcher is not a new one. That's not supposed to be there, I didn't think. Well, either way, we're not going to be messing with the new stuff because they're too expensive. Uh, place bombs and remotely detonate them. Eh, no. We're going to stick with the originals. We have the crossbow, which is just for ranged attack. We have the blade staff which is for close up and then we have of course the spike traps the tar and uh, that's all we're gonna have for now drains enemies health alternately trades health for mana huh interesting restores players mana takes time to recharge no I'm not gonna use any of this stuff so we have four slots we get more slots as we defeat in more levels and we get new stuff to go in the spell book as we get more new stuff to have so, uh, as it is, we have these four things. These are the four things you normally start with. DLC notwithstanding, we're leaving those out. Uh, up here, it shows you what kind of monsters will be coming at you, and it is just the normal single-minded brute who heads for the rift. So the general idea of this is to defend the rift, and wow, mouse sensitivity is way higher than it was before. Let's see if we can fix that. No, not that. Settings. Mouse sensitivity. Yeah, let's turn that down just a little bit. That should be better. Resume game. Oh, that's much better. Alright, so basically the whole idea is there's a door. Orcs come out the door. When orcs come out the door, you have to kill them before they get to the rift. Uh, they are trying to get through the rift to destroy everything good in life. So it's our job to stop them. Okay, down at the bottom here we have our things. We can roll the mouse wheel to select between weapons, or once we select a trap, we can roll the mouse wheel to select between traps. Okay, for the beginning of this, we're just going to start with some basic tar traps. 
tire traps are going to slow down the enemies. And that should be all we need for now. We're going to go back to the crossbow, and we are going to press G to unleash the horde. And here they come. So I'm going to do this series as a um, one episode per level kind of thing, except for the further levels when I start having to repeat them because I lose, like, a lot. So... We're going to finish this level, call this an episode, and then we will come back with another episode of us doing the next level. Of course, this is going to get more and more difficult, so, you know, expect later on to have multiple attempts at single episodes. The first episode is going to be short because this is a very simple level and an introduction to the game. So, I will probably record multiple episodes just because uh, this is going to be rather quick, and that's how this is going to roll. So, yeehaw. Alright, so uh, we can sprint up here. This right here gives you health if you need it, uh, if you can reach it as well. Um, as you're killing them, you get the ability to place more traps. So we're going to go ahead and... No, that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to... Oh, you can't sell traps in between waves. Okay, well, either way. Let's go back to this, and we can do this. Alright, now you left click to use your normal attack. When you right click, it uses a special attack. In this case, the special attack for the bow stuns the monsters, or the orcs. <clears throat> when you use a special attack, it uses up some of your magic. Health and magic are in the top right corner of the screen. I do have archers here on the sides. They were provided by the level, uh, so, you know, thanks to the level for that. And listening to these guys can be quite hilarious, actually. Both your character and the orcs say hilarious things. Uh, they can say, I actually had an orc say, I want to be the good guy. Which I find hilarious myself. Alright, before it goes, sell that trap. Go to three and place this. And then since we have lots of money, we'll go ahead and place some more. This ought to keep them busy for a while. And of course, headshots count really well to take them out. I mean, early on like this, there isn't a whole lot to do. I mean, it's it's fairly simple. You're learning how to play, learning the headshots and stuff. Well, actually, we'll go ahead and switch to the blade staff here just for the sake of showing. Uh, your traps don't hurt you. You can stand right on them when they go off, but they do not have any effect on you whatsoever. So don't worry about that. Secondary attack for the blade staff. You sling it into the ground, doing massive damage and flinging enemies around. The minus side of standing that close is you can be killed easily. That's why you will not see me use the blade staff very often, because I don't like dying. Um, to get the highest number of skulls, you want to have uh, the maximum amount of rift points at the end of the level. Uh, rift points are taken away when orcs get into the rift, and of course when you die. And of course when you win, you get him dancing. Okay, so I will probably get four skulls, I'd have to guess. Yep, if I hadn't died, I would have gotten five, no problem, but such is the way it is. Uh, we can continue on to the next stage, and that would be great, or we can go to a buy upgrades. The stats shows you... How many combat kills, traps slash minion kills, minions being the archers. Um, rift points remaining was 15, because dying really, really hurt me. Um, but yes, we uh, we lost it. You lose skulls based on time and rift points lost. Um, so I got the fifth uh, skull for the time, but my rift points lost took away the fifth one there. So that's how this is going to go. Uh, let's see, we can go back one, and we can see the points we've accrued. The points really don't matter. All it is is for the leaderboards. Uh, we can buy upgrades. You can upgrade each trap. They each do different things for the upgrades. I will be keeping track of these and probably doing them on camera. Uh, we've only got four skulls, and nothing costs four skulls to upgrade, so we're not going to do anything at this point. So this is Orcs Must Die, Stage 1. 
There is a free demo on Steam if you want to try it out. The basic game is $10 on Steam unless you can catch it on sale. I've actually seen it on sale for like $3. So if you like what you see, go buy it. It's really fun. It's worthwhile. Uh, we'll be continuing this, and I believe there's 24 stages, so probably at least 24 episodes. Um, probably will be more than 24 episodes just because I will lose. And that's not going through all of the upgrades, the hard mode, getting all the skulls and all that stuff. So we'll be playing this for a while. But uh, until next time, Jaronite is signing off on Orcs Must Die. And remember, help spread the gaming. Welcome back, everyone. This is Jaronitis bringing you Orcs Must Die. We are picking up right where we left off. We are going to go on to episode two. This is going to continue into stage two. The uh, by beating stage one, we have been granted the Arrow Wall, and by getting the Arrow Wall, we now have another defense that we can use to slay the orcs. With the old man dead and my apprenticeship finally over, I can draw on the full power of the rift. I'll get a new toy to play with every time I defend the rift. New toy to play with every time he defends the rift. So awesome! Open up our spell book, take out the basic stuff. I'm leaving the blade staff off because I'd be tempted to use it and I really shouldn't. And I'm gonna take it anyway. All right, still just the normal single-minded orc warriors. And now we have new stuff to play with. All right, we have arrow traps, which are gonna be very useful. Uh, the arrow traps are limited in their range. So um, they can only see a certain distance away. As you can see here, this sees across that far. Now, if I were to place one here, you can see that only sees three squares, quote unquote squares, away. Okay, so right there, that is the maximum range for it, but that's okay because. Can you ever have too many traps? I'm thinking no. All right, so cool. That is a nice beginning defense right there, and we should be able to unleash the horde, and let's see what trouble we can get into. There are two doors here, but ultimately they're coming down a single path, so it doesn't really matter. <laughs> the recharge time on the traps are is pretty slow. I mean, otherwise, you know, if they were too fast, it would defeat the whole purpose, right? Uh, with the crossbow, the faster you shoot, the less accurate you are. If you watch the reticle in the center, as I shoot, the reticle gets more and more open, which makes the shots go wider and wider. Uh, as you can see, it's really pointed right there, but if I shoot really fast, it gets really wide and the bolts start going everywhere. So slower is actually a good idea. So actually, I should have been placing these while I was waiting, but that's okay. It takes them a few minutes to get over here anyway. Headshot. And yes, lots of people have played this game before. I'm sure there's multiple YouTube series out there. But ultimately, I was going to play it again anyway. And uh, if you guys want to watch it, well, you can watch it. And uh, I'll appreciate the views. So, I'm also streaming this, by the way. So if you pay attention to my Twitch, when I stream things, you can get a preview uh, before the videos go live because the videos will be delayed by quite a bit because they will have to wait their turn uh, I upload one video a day, so I have people in my stream trying to talk at me while I'm playing and that makes things very difficult because you know like orcs are trying to kill me and You know orcs so Let's see put that one there and there and there One of my stream people, his name is Dosk, he's actually a very nice guy. He comes pretty much to anything I stream. He asks me when I'm going to do a face reveal. Um, I've addressed that before, Dosk, by the way. I will do a face reveal when I have 1,000 followers on Twitch. When that little heart on Twitch hits 1,000, I will do a face cam episode revealing who I really am, or rather, rather what I really look like. So just so you know. I think I'm safe for pretty much ever since nobody watches my stuff, except you. 
you watch me all the time, so I'm not gonna say anything you major there. Oh wow, that stun like did an amazing job on them. I was about to say, if I keep this up, my paladin's gonna have something to do. They actually, uh, they've given me a paladin. It's one of the things that you can unlock later and buy. He will hang out here, and if anything gets close enough, he will utterly wreck their stuff. Uh, as you can see in the top right corner, it's got the mini-map. I forgot to talk about that in the first episode. The mini-map shows you where they are coming from, where they are going, and it also tells you right below on the mini-map how many of them are left. So, let's see. We're going to put that there and there. The fun part is that these guys, when they trip this, the arrows will only be triggered if they walk within this amount of space, but the arrows will fly until they terminate in this wall. So uh, this will actually be a very effective defense right here because it will hit all of them on the way across. Last wave, let's rock. Bye bye, evil guys. I believe you can play the first three levels on the demo if you want to go get the demo. It is on Steam. Uh, the whole game is $10 unless you catch it on sale, and that is awesome. Dosk, you cannot create a thousand Twitch accounts. That would be not fair, and you know it. By the way, he does that little dance when he wins utterly. Uh, five skulls is when you get that dance. So, uh, my wife really enjoys that dance. So, you know, my wife and that dance, and I don't know, go figure. But either way, that was episode two. Ooh, we have now got skulls. Um, we can now buy an upgrade. <clears throat> we have nine skulls total, so we can buy an upgrade. We're going to upgrade the wall trap, extended arrow wall. It triggers from further out. So instead of triggering it from three blocks away, it can trigger from four blocks away. This is the first one I like to buy. The second one is usually going to be the sticky tar uh, trap upgrade. It makes them slow down even more. Uh, the tar trap and the wall trap are two of the greatest. Uh, I would never find a upgrade of either of them to be a bad thing. So, yes, this is awesome. All right, now uh, that's pretty much going to be episode two. So, yeah, the, this episode is actually shorter than the last one, go figure. But they will be getting longer every time we go on to a new level uh, because each level is going to be longer. You know, three three waves first, then four waves. I mean, eventually you get up to the point where there's nine and ten waves. And uh, then we'll get to the point where we start losing them back and forth. So the later episodes will go longer. So keep in that in mind. So until next time, this is Jaronitis signing off on episode two of Orcs Must Die. And remember, help spread the gaming.